Welcome to Gearbox, and today we're going to have a look at the LiveMix personal monitoring system from Digital Audio Labs. Julius, what were your first impressions? Power over Ethernet, I like that. Yeah, that's a very good thing. I think that's one of the things we're seeing that now that uh, personal monitoring is sort of entering the sort of second generation, as it were, you know, starting off with the other manufacturers, is that we are seeing stuff like power over Ethernet actually running the units. So um, just to start at the very beginning, uh, if you're going to look at uh, getting a live mix personal monitoring system, uh, you just got to make a few decisions about which bits and pieces to buy. So first off is the actual brain at the bottom of the rack here. Uh, it's the uh, it's the engine that basically does most of the mixing. So you can choose to get a 24 in 16 out mix unit or you can go up to 32 mixes uh, for a, a larger one. Then you've got to look at whether you're going to have analog inputs like we have. We have got a separate box up here. Uh, TRS and D, uh, D sub in <coughs> spits out the data back into the brain. Or if you're running Dante, you can get a Dante enabled unit. Which is a much better idea. Yeah, look, it's, it's a lot easier. A lot easier, mm. and all your channel patching will just mm. yeah, migrate no, yeah. straight to the unit. So any naming you've done in Dante Controller just goes straight in. It's going to save you groveling around making lots of labels <laughs> in an orchestra pit, <laughs> indeed, for instance. Indeed. But anyway, if, even if you are using uh, analog in, uh, look, these are the personal monitoring units. There's, there's two sides, A and B, so you can have two musos running off each one. Even if you do have to label it up yourself, it's really easy. I mean, the, the interface is just really, really intuitive. Mm. You found Plus, it easy to get around? Yeah, foot switch as well. Yeah, um, that's an optional extra. Mm. Uh, also the uh, stand mount here. Um, so yeah, it's look a really simple matter of once you get in there. It's really set up with the muso in mind. You can hop through your 24 channels with the soft buttons, or if you hold them down and open them up, you get options like, uh, say, the EQ and compression, which are global. So it's, as you observed, a little bit like a traditional foldback desk in that sense. Yeah, one setting. It'd be nice if that was locked out, because I could mm. just see the bass player tweaking. And... <laughs> That's usually a guitarist, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you've got uh, the ability to uh, group channels together, so you can turn, say, the whole all the drums kit up and yeah. down or put you know stereo keys together or all whatever. the brass because then I could turn them off yeah <laughs> yes indeed and the very important me button so you choose which channel is you and then you can turn I yourself like that up and down. it used to be yeah. the monitor engineer now it's just all about me <laughs> and also you can blame the musos if the mix is bad which is just well, fantastic that's right they can't throw this <clears throat> at the monitor engineer if it's their mix <laughs> that's true well, they'll it's have true. to hit themselves over the head with it and it's built very well. It is. It's actually really, really rugged. It's not that plasticky vibe. It's you know, it feels really, really solid. So, look, I think there's a lot to like about this. What do you reckon, Jude? I like it. Mm. Well, thank you very much for watching. Now, do remember to like us, subscribe, and share us with your friends.